Hello everyone, I'm Sammy Fucker Bad Dad, and today I'm going to show you how you can simply and easily create your own game bots. Yes, a robot that will automatically play games for users online games and make sure that juicy juicy gold XP gems whatever you're trying to farm on your favorite games these days. Especially in those juicy juicy mobile games that the kids play these days. It's crazy. Anyways guys. It's a very, very simple co uh, concept. Of course, if you want to program a real bot, as they say, that can read memory and uh, is, a, is an executable uh, and, and can talk to the servers directly, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to learn programming for about eight years, okay? Basics of programming, C sharp, C++, yeah, about eight years of your life right there. But the method that I'm going to show you today is very powerful as well, not quite as powerful, granted, but you don't have to go study for eight years. So that is an upside. Now, the method that we're going to be using is twofold, threefold. It works for any game, okay? Android, iOS, uh, uh, just uh, consoles. All you need is an emulator, okay? Or, uh, in my case, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to hack a browser game, which obviously you can just simply access on Windows. Now, this can be done on Mac as well, on any kind of uh, PC, really. You could do it on a Linux as well, but you will need a computer for this. There are certain miscellaneous apps that can do it on Android, iOS as well, but they're uh, really simplistic and they will not do the job I can tell you that so the way you do this is first step you need to run uh, the game that you're looking to bot on your PC I recommend Windows PC for the reasons that I've just mentioned because there's the most uh, the best programs and uh, it, it's just the best platform for botting at the moment truth be told so you need to run the game that you're trying to bot on your Windows PC. How do you do that? Well, there are emulators out there. So if you're doing some kind of a mobile game, lots of mobile emulators out there for Android. And soon there might be for iOS as well. Oh yes, those might be coming. I've, I've heard news. And same goes for a lot of uh, Nintendo devices and so on. So, that's the first step. You need to have the game running on your PC. Second step, you need a macro recorder. Now you might ask me, Sammy, what is a macro recorder? I don't understand. What does it do? What is it? Well, a macro recorder is very simple. Uh, on a PC, you have a mouse and you have a keyboard. You hear? That's a keyboard. Anyways, so a macro recorder records what you're doing on your computer, the inputs that you're generating, and then keeps track of all the, the inputs that you generate and then is able to play it back to you, okay? This is the basics of the bots that we're going to create. Now, these macro recorders are available for free. However, the one that I recommend, uh, because it's the best one for botting, uh, has some functionality that makes it far and away the best. Like... Uh, free ones will be able to record all your movements and you will be able to create simple loops, simple bots. It will be possible, but you won't be able to actually have any kind of AI really. It will just be a loop of actions that you record. Now, if you want to have an actual bot, you will need this macro recorder right here. It costs money. I'm sorry. Uh, there is, I think there's a free trial, but I don't think there's a free version of this. So, there's a link in the description for this one. What does this one do that all the other ones don't? Or, as far as I know, anyways. Uh, for one thing, you have if loops. That means if something is a certain way, for example, if it finds an image on the screen, then it will do a certain action. So, for example, if it detects that you have, in this case of this game, if you have full energy, okay, if, you, if it sees this exact image, 250 out of 250, it will perform a certain action. So, that is a feature that this one has that 99.9 .9 of the percent of the free ones, maybe even 100, do not have. So, then also there is, as I've already mentioned, image recognition. So that would be like um, if an image is found, right, and then you can just 
uh, capture an image, right? And if the image exists on the screen, then it, then it does something. Or also, if a certain pixel has a certain color, okay, that is very, very useful as well. Because, you know, you have these notifications, like maybe some red message that you have, maybe a reward that you can redeem, a free jest or whatever. And if that has a certain color that's at a certain place, um, this kind of bot will be able to detect that and automatically open your rewards whenever you receive them. So that is all, or, or also health. Okay, you let's say let's say you have a health bar somewhere. Let's just go back to the mission. Let's say this is a health bar, right? Let's say the health is red. Uh, it can detect your health basically by uh, checking if a certain pixel is black or red, or in this case, blue or black, right? If this pixel turns right here turns black, then you know your health is at half. If that was a health bar, it's not. But anyways, guys. These are just some things that this kind of um, macro recorder can do. This particular one can do. Um, this is the best one I found, uh, far and away the best one that I found. It it can it can do a lot of things. There's even programming in this. So if you want to start out actually programming, this uh, can run C sharp commands. So. There is a lot of options with this one. It can it can open up websites. It can check if files exist. It can do a lot of things that most of the other ones can't, which makes it ideal for this particular purpose that I'm going to show you right here. So, so how do you actually create a bot using this technique? Let me just show you guys instead of just talking about it. Now, what you want to do is you want to create a loop and record all your actions. So, a loop means you start in a certain place, right? And you're going to uh, create the actions. You're going to perform the actions that you want the bot to do, and then you're going to return to the screen where you started so that later on the bot can just play the whole script as a loop and do it over and over and over and over again that's the basic principle let me just show you instead of talking about it okay so i'm gonna record a macro right now so we're at this mission screen right here we're gonna click here to make sure the bot goes to the mission screen let's go into this mission let's farm this mission and let's just go for OK. And there we go. Now the game is automatically going to play this mission for me. We're just going to wait. We're just going to wait for now. And let the bot do its job. Or I mean, not the bot, but let the recording go on. Because the bot is going to have to wait through this fighting animation as well. And there we go. Now, the bot needs to click the OK button in order to return to the mission screen. And this is basically, that's a small loop. Let's just stop recording now, okay? Now, okay, as you can see, this is what I just did. This is the recording, all right? Now, this is not optimal. Um, there's a lot that can be edited about, edited about this, and that's also why I recommend this uh, particular macro recorder, because it allows you to actually edit these macros and you know usually what you're going to do is you're going to get rid of a lot of delays but anyways let me just show you what this bot will do if i let it autoplay and i'm going to fast forward through this okay uh I'm, you're just going to hear me uh, uh, b b um, clap my hands so that you know that i'm not doing these things all right so <laughs> let's just go play x times i'm going to set it to zero which means it's an infinite loop now okay and play and i'm clapping my hands i'm clapping my hands the bot's doing things okay it's clicking and it's doing this and as you can see, it's playing again. Now, a problem that might come up here is that uh, not every battle is going to take uh, the same amount of time. So an intelligent thing for me to do would have been to s uh, speed the script up so that it clicks the button more often so that if this battle should take longer, uh, we wouldn't have to have a, a lot of downtime. And it's automatically click clicked OK. And now it's going to go automatically back into the mission. And I'm still clapping my hands. I'm clapping my hands. And the bot's doing the mission again. And the mission again. And I'm clapping my hands. Uh, if it, Maybe it's annoying that I'm singing. But I just want to... <laughs> 
<laughs> it doesn't really matter. Anyways, as you can see, the bot's still doing its thing. I, I think this time it's gonna desync, which means the battle's gonna take longer than it did in the original recording. So uh, it might not work out very well. Uh, it might desync. We might have to wait like a minute for it to click the OK button. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened. All right, let's just let's just stop this real quick. Okay. Now what happened here is the uh, OK button. Okay. It it clicked the OK button when we were still in the fight. Okay, and that is now an optimization that would have to be made. All right. Now how would I optimize this? Let's just let's just quit out of the bob for now. How would I optimize this? Well, the good thing is with this recorder, it's very easy to optimize th this kind of stuff because let me just show you this. As I said, there's image recognition. Okay, this is an image. Okay, of a, of the energy bar in the game, right? So what? For example, you can make an if loop. So if you see this full energy bar, do something, right? What you can also do is you can take this button right here, this OK button, and take that image and tell the bot if this image appears on the screen, check for this image, click it. Okay, um, that way you won't run into these kinds of problems. And sadly, that's something that only this particular software really has, which is image recognition. Okay, find image on the screen. So that is a command that you can insert into your bar. Now, obviously, you need to know where exactly in the script um, you would have to insert this. Now. In in this in this case, we would have to find the exact mouse click, uh, the click. Uh, you have, as you can see, you have all these move commands: move, 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 move. And now we would have to find the click. Where is the click? Uh, actually, uh, it's 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 a lot of move. But essentially, you look for the click. And you, then you would insert the image recognition right there, and you would check for this OK button right here, and click it. All right. If this appears, click this coordinate right here. Right. So that's how you would easily get around this problem. Now, obviously, there's other ways of doing it, such as um, constantly clicking out of certain. Um, random things that can happen if, if the bot desynchronizes, uh, which is, uh, it's, 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 I've, I've done it that way. Like, I've done it that way for years. Like, this game, the old version of this game, I used to bot for a long, long time. I don't care that people know about it. Like, it's, it's like eight years ago or whatever. And, um, that's how I, I did it. I, I didn't have image recognition, and you can do it. You can do it using absolutely 100% free tools. It's just gonna take you uh, about ten times longer to get the bot working. Uh, you will get a lot more experience as well in 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 creating bots. Let me tell you. However, um, it's it's gonna take a long, long time. But this is the basic concept, okay? You start at a screen. You perform a action, like for example, you go into your upgrade menu and you upgrade something, right? And then you go back into that same screen screen and you stop recording okay start recording perform action uh, start somewhere perform action go back to where you started and that's a loop okay and that's really that's the basics of what a simple bot like this a macro bot will do it's um, simple loops now with free software it will take you a lot longer to get the same amount of complexity and and quite frankly you won't get the same amount of complexity exactly as you will with a software like this uh, and I'm actually not unsure how much this one costs like 60 bucks cost me or something there's different versions of this one um, link in description by the way uh, I highly recommend it if you're serious about botting games uh, think about it this bot will cost you like 60 bucks how much money have you spent on on your online games like on your clash of clans and clash royale and your whatever whatever you're playing right your destinies and and and, and warframes and uh, call of duty you've spent a lot more money than 60 bucks probably so think about it if you can automatically farm 24 hours a day is that worth the money you, you would spend on microtransaction in like a month or whatever 
In my opinion, it is, and that's the decision I've made. Anyways, guys, this is the tutorial on how to... <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm dying. No, I'm not. <laughs> Don't worry. Anyways, this is the tutorial on how to create bots. I'm sorry that this is a long tutorial, but quite honestly, it's a complex subject, and yeah. But these are the basics, these these are the tools again that you need, you need a game that runs on a PC, if if it's, not, if it's a mobile game, use an emulator, if it's a, a Nintendo console game, use an emulator, there are emulators for uh, most Nintendo consoles, there are emulators for most um, older Xbox and Playstation consoles, there is emulators for pretty much everything these days. Except iOS, but that's coming very, very, very soon, okay? And as soon as it does, I will be covering it for sure because uh, I want to be able to emulate iOS and so on. Anyways, guys, <laughs> I'm getting off track again. Uh, link for the software that I'm using in the description and down below. Check out HackerBot.net for all your gaming needs as well. Always, you can get to get hackerbat.net and find uh, legitimate cheats. Just go to your favorite search engine. In my case, that would be google.ch because I'm a, 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 a Swiss person, a Swiss Swissy. And you just Google hackerbot, and here you will also be able to find free bots and free hacks, free software. Just go to hackerbot.net, Google hackerbot, go to find cheats, and here you will have a search engine that will search websites, only f legitimate websites, and that's important. No survey scams, no human verification scams, no fakes here, okay? These are only websites that I personally know do distribute legitimate stuff for free, okay? Um, you just enter the name of your game, whatever, Clash of Clans Bot, and you will be able to find legitimate stuff, okay? Make sure it's up to date and undetected. Just go uh, to the, the sites that are down below and you can download whatever you need, okay? And for all platforms, by the way, for PC, Android, iOS, uh, consoles everything okay we cover everything just head over to hackerbot.net we also have uh, very new for everybody open uh, our our pro finder which is the paid version which is gonna search for paid hacks for you uh, but you're gonna have to support us with a like okay you know to use it because we can't make it public because it's paid hacks anyways guys <laughs> thanks you guys for watching I very much appreciate that you stuck with me through this video, and I will see you guys next time.